So as I'm sitting here and I'm um, I'm working on the Melanite Bible, and um, I got the sidebar playing in the background, and um, like they're telling me about, and I had the most beautiful dream about um, the soul and the spirit. But anyway, they're telling me about Kim Porter. And I'm, I know she's here. And I asked Kim, I said, because she keeps bringing up Quincy. And I said, well, what is it that if we could sit down with Quincy and we could give Quincy a message, what is it that you want to say to him? And she told me to tell Quincy that she brought back a memory of him as a little boy. And... um I don't know if this is like Diddy telling her that he's soft or he's too soft or don't make him soft. And um, her and Quincy sitting down and having the conversation of, you know, he's fine. He's perfect the way that he is <clears throat> and that she loves him genuinely. And um, a second conversation of, you know, him feeling like he's not part of the family. Oh, my God, I feel like I'm going to cry. That he's not part of the family and that she's reassuring him that, you know, she travels and all of these different things to make sure that she can take care of herself, that she can take care of them. And that, you know, um, he's most definitely a part of this family and that he's no different than anyone else. She her message to him today in the right now is that you live your life. The way that you see fit, let nobody make you feel like you need to hide anything about yourself, that you need to go ahead and pursue every avenue that you want to pursue, whether that is in love, being with someone family-wise, um, as well as your, your career path. Hold no fear. She says that she hears you when you speak to her. And that she loves you genuinely. You're the same as you always been. You're a gentle and soft soul. And that's who you are. And you're perfect. Live your life how you choose to. With love from your mom, Kim Porter.